Unix CPA March 27. Write the Unix command to print the count of subjects in each semester. You have a file having subject details in the following format. Subject Semester Grade There are three fields and each field is separated by a pipe. In the output, the semester name and the count of subjects offered in that semester needs to be displayed in ascending order of the semester name. Here is the input. As per provided input, SEM1 has one subject, SEM2 has two subjects, and SEM3 has two subjects. That's what we have in output. To take one input line we use red keyword. To take multiple lines we use loop. This loop runs until there is input left in the console. Let's take an array, A, and store the input from S into it. Echo keyword is used to display output. Let's echo whole array and check. It has all the input. But pipe is present as separator. To remove pipe we will use IFS. Let's run and check. As visible in the output, pipe is eliminated. Let's echo value at index 1 of array. It contains different semesters. But we want only the last term, that is semester number. Let's extract the one element from index 3 and check. It is the space. Let's check for 2. It is alphabet M. Let's check for 4. That's what we want. Let's take an array, D, let's take another variable I, and initialize it to 0. Let's initialize D with 11 zeros. Let's check if the value at index of semester number of array is 0. If it is 0, then change that value to 1. Else increment value at that index. Let's increment i after each input and use it as counter. Let's echo i and check. It counts 8 for 8 lines of input. Let's take a 4 loop in which I will vary for each element in array d. Dollar $d gives only first element of array. To get whole array we had to use at. Let's run and check. We got the output, but we also need to print semester numbers. Let's take a variable, j and initialize it to 0. Let's increment it for every value of array. Let's add j, in echo. Let's run and check. Our output is slightly correct, it just needs some space. Let's run and check. Now space is adequate, but numbering is improper. Let's check if i is greater than zero, then only echo. Let's run and check if this solves our issue. We forgot to give space. 
Let's run and check if this solves our issue. No, it didn't. Let's delete these 11 zeros from array, D. Then run and check. That's exactly what we want. Let's remove this unnecessary part. Let's remove one subject from SEM2 and check. We can clearly see, the SEM2 count decrement from 2 to 1. This echo statement is unnecessary. Let's change the semester number of C sharp from 3 to 1. We can see SEM1 count is increment. Let's modify these test cases and check. Our code is running for 6 semesters as well. Let's change it again. And check. That's also correct. Our code has successfully passed all the test case. Check out other method to solve this question by clicking here. Thanks for watching Python every day. Like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to watch other videos on our channel. Goodbye. See you in the next video.